Hey posers, I'm Rob Pacino and I'm back again this week for this week's ECW review. And I've just got a quick note, the revolution has begun. Not only has Hogan taken TNA to the next level, but now the block has taken the wrestling revolution to the next level. We now have our own website, check it out in the description box and let us know what you think, become a fan and join the revolution. Let's jump right into the show. This week's ECW is in my backyard of Greenville, South Carolina. All right. We start off the show with a uh, interesting segment where we think we're getting the Abraham Washington show, but instead we're getting the Santino Ham Morallington show. That's right, I said it. With Vladimir Kozlov. So you got this Italian guy who can't do a show, and you got this... A Russian guy who can't sell a promo and you put him in and there's just too many freaking accents I never thought in my life that I'd miss Abraham Washington But please bring Abraham back. I, pl I promise I'll be good. I'll leave Abraham alone. I'll leave Abraham alone I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. Although I did like the point that Santino brought up that Santino and Kozlov should become a tag team. They should be called Morelov and they should go for the tag slammy because they're both jokes they make the perfect tag team. Anyway, enough of that bullcrap. We go into the first match of the night with Yoshitatsu and Goldust versus Croft and Beretta. It was an okay match. Goldust pretty much carried the whole match. Tatsu got the crap beat out of him. Croft and Beretta won in the end. I kind of knew it was coming. I was kind of hoping Goldust would win just because Goldust is... <sighs> Goldust. It didn't work out that way. So anyway... um. Yeah, so I like, the, the only really note I have of this match, though, is that Byron Saxon said at the end that Croft and Beretta are great partners. The ambiguously gay duo. That's right, the ambiguously gay duo still stands with Croft and Beretta. All right, we go into a in-ring promo with Zack Ryder and Rosa Mendez. Pretty good heel promo, saying that he is the, uh, saying that he is the heart and superhero of ECW, or something like that, along those lines. And, uh, yeah, then Hurry Helms comes out, and he saves the announcer chick. And, uh, he, I, you know, it's just, a, I guess it's just the Hurry Helms is another stepping stone for Zack Ryder to the top. So, woo, 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 you know it. And then, surprisingly, at 10.30, we move on to our main event. This is, like, there's two promos and two matches. Holy crap. So we go to the main event, Christian versus Regal. This match had pay-per-view time on it. I mean, there was a lot of great moves in this match. Regal had this great, like, Russian leg sweep submission. Like, he had him in the Russian leg sweep position, but he had him in a submission. It's actually really cool looking. I liked it. And then, uh, just a lot of great ground and pound submission work by Regal. Regal dominated most of this match. But then, of course, Christian comes back with his high octane offense, jumping off ropes and doing all this stuff. And then, uh, he goes up for one drop kick. He goes up for a nut and hits. Then he goes for another one. And just Regal just blows on. He's like, I'm not that stupid. I loved it. Regal's awesome. Regal should have been the ECW champion a long time ago. But now Big Zeke gets a shot, which I'm happy about. So Big Zeke, of course, is in the corner. I forgot to mention that. And, uh, you know, it was a great match. Great, great ring work between, between William Regal and Christian, as usual. And then at the very end, Christian pushes William Regal over the top rope. And then Regal, or uh, middle rope, and he goes outside. And then just like out of nowhere, Zeke comes in and beats the crap out of Christian. Don't get me wrong, I kind of wish the match would have ended. I, you know, I kind of wish Christian would have won clean and then Zeke would have came in and beat the mess out of him. But, you know what? Whatever makes Zeke look better going into the Rumble works for me. The post-match beatdown of, of Christian was awesome. Zeke even was like... The, the little the little corner bar thingy was in there. Actually, it'd be right here. Was in the in the corner. And Zeke's like, right when that thing came on, he, Zeke just picked Christian up and and did the uh, the Yurinagi slam again. He's like, this is show ain't going off the air until I say it's going off the air. And that is a heel. Anyway, um, let's... I, it was a pretty good night, I mean, for what it's worth. It wasn't huge and spectacular, but hey, whatever. Let's move on to the fantasy ECW. I change a little bit. Uh, the promo in the beginning would not be the San Santino Tin Washa Morala whatever show. Um, I would have made a promo where Regal comes out to introduce the new number one contender, Ezekiel Jackson. Christian comes out and challenges, and then Christian would come out, and you know, Zeke's cutting a heel promo, and Christian would say, You know what? Tonight, I'm going to challenge your valet 
handler to a match, William Regal. Tiffany comes out, as gorgeous as ever, and she makes the match happen in the main event. Match set. First match of the night I would make. Croft and Beretta versus Kung Fu Naki and Yoshitatsu versus Archer and Rex. A triple threat tag team match. I like, you know, I like to build up the tag team division, even though, like, that's the majority of ECW superstars. I'm working really hard here to build a tag division in ECW. Um, and then I'd probably put Croft and Beretta over just because they need a little bit more over. And really, Archer and Rex, eh. Yoshitatsu and Kung Fu Naki, eh. Honestly, I think Croft and Beretta are probably the better out of that anyway. So, then the next I'd have the promo with Zack Ryder and Rosa Mendez with the Hurry Helms coming in. I'd leave it all the same. It was pretty good. I liked it all right, all right. Match two of the night. Yes, I'm having more than two matches. Is going to be Shelton Benjamin versus Vladimir Kozlov, where I'd put Shelton over and Shelton would get the win. Just because, eh, I'm not, you know, I want Shelton to feud with somebody, you know, halfway credible, not Vance Archer. So Kozlov is more credible than Archer, trust me. And then, um, the main event, I would have Christian defeating William Regal, and then. Uh, just, you know, the same, I mean, it was a great match, the same thing. Christian hits the young prettier and gets the win on William Regal. And then, but then after the match, Zeke comes in and does the post-match beatdown the exact same. Because it was just great heel fashion. Anyway, that's it for this week's ECW review. I am Grim Pacito. Please check out our website. Yeah, no, up there. My bad. Check out our website up there. Check out the other members of the Revolution, which is which is ADTV, the U2C, which is my show, of course, and Classic 1333 and The Block. And I'm Grumpy Cheeto, and I am.